Hi, I'm Santa Tyrion again. Uh, today we're going to go over a Windows unquoted service path privileges escalation vulnerability, um, where we're going to basically inject our own uh, custom executable into a Windows directory, which we will run in the context of a service that isn't set as secure. So to give you a little bit of overview over this, what this essentially is, is this service has been configured to run with an executable that doesn't have quotes wrapped around it. Okay. So Windows will treat the, the path as a run order uh, that follows like this. So take a note of the spaces here, and I'll go over this. Okay, so we've got spaces here, here, and here. So we have four possible places we can place our own custom executable to run. All right, so we can create a custom executable. It's program.exe, a.exe, b.exe, and finally c.exe. Okay. Um, what will happen is when that service starts, the uh, Windows will interpret the path in that order. All right, so if you place a custom executable here uh, and one here, this one will run uh, and this one will not run. And likewise, the actual service itself will break. So let's go over this in our lab environment. Um, it's quite an interesting one. This so I've got a default installation of Vsus installed. Um, and the services are configured in various manners uh, to start automatically on manual. Uh, and if you look at the logon of this uh, local system account or indeed the yeah, network service. So when this service runs, we have the option of a program.exe, an update.exe, and finally the actual path of the executable that, that we want to run as part of the service. Like I said, this is a default installation of WSOS, so I haven't done any of this at all. It's a default installation uh, that happens to contain white space. So the best one to choose here is we've got the WSOS cert server, uh, and if we have certificates installed, this will be configured to run as automatic. Um, this is the highest privilege account. Uh, all right, so, and we've got our custom executable ready to go. Um, so this is just a very simple, straightforward, uh, PowerShell script that uh, runs net local group administrators user add. So we're going to add user, user called user, into the local administrators group. And we're going to do that just starting the service. Uh, in order to get this set as an executable, I run a very simple win PowerShell to executable um, program here. Uh, it's one of my favorites to use. It's got a nice GUI as well as command prompt. So you can pick up your PowerShell script and you can call it whatever you like um, in here and spit the output uh, into that directory and the name you choose. So in our instance, we've got program.exe. Program.exe is sat on the root of the C drive, C program.exe. All right. And what will happen is when we start this service, you go back to the original. This will run first. All right. And it's not a service, it's just a very simple Windows executable just to show that um, this works 100%. And we hit start. Uh, the service stops straight away because it isn't a proper service, it's just a very quick demonstration file. And what we'll find, if we look in our groups of administrators, we've now got lab user. Okay, and if you look in the security directory, uh, security event log, you'll see that we've got a little bit of enumeration that always happens. And we've got a member was added to a security enabled local group. It was done by system. No, it wasn't me, it was the system account that did it. And the user added was lab user. Okay, now we can simply reboot the machine and that service will start automatically or we can stop and start the service. But generally speaking, when we've got admin rights, we can do that anyway. All right, so if you look at WSUS again, we need to fix this. Okay, and the fix is simply by putting quotes in the start and the finish of this. All right, so there's a nice little script from GitHub that we can use for this. Uh, I've got it already on the machine. Uh, fixed vulnerable service. Um, we can open up a PowerShell command as the administrator 
and we can dot slash where's it gone fix runnable service dot ps1 okay and it will find the service I created without quotes wrapped around it it's picked up those WSUS server and the WSUS search service and we've got a success at the end path value was changed for service WSUS service okay path value is changed to here and a vulnerable service that I set up uh, as an example but uh, I had looked through the services before I um, captured this video and I found that actually WSUS was vulnerable to this kind of attack out of the box and this is a um, you can see this is a the default Civ 2016 installation where I've just gone into um, add roles and I've added the WSUS role uh, for a separate uh, attack and we're working on at the moment. Hold it was vulnerable out of the box. All right, so we go back into our WSUS search service. We're going to have a quick refresh. We'll look at the properties and let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. This one, I think we had a window open. It's wrap quotes around it. Um, go back to here. Yes, it's wrap quotes around both of those. All right, so let's go back up to our vulnerable service as well. And indeed, it's wrap quotes around this. So now, when I start the WSUS service, the actual executable runs. I haven't hijacked anything here. Vulnerable service. This one doesn't point to anything, so this should crash. There we go. Yep. And there you go. So we've gone from a full vulnerable box um, with the service paths. We talked through how to take advantage of those unquoted service paths by um, interpreting the path spaces, looking at the space and finding out what our executable needs to be. Okay. I exist now using the PowerShell script that can be deployed through uh, any estates that you look after or advice to uh, to anybody in, in this predicament uh, and how to fix it and now we cannot hijack these services at all so the actual proper to be so service.exe is running okay so i'd like to thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe it all makes a massive difference and i'll speak to you soon thanks